Well, there certainly has been a history that has um, that has brought me to Gadamer's Truth and Method. Um, and before I, my my question right now is I've read this many times that I really from this this reading through I really want to know how this text answers what it is um, what do the translators think Gadamer is saying about truth and about method what did what do the translators think that Gadamer is asking us to deal with or maybe what is a better question that I should ask um, I, I'm going to go through section by section and, and, and chapter by chapter and ask, you know, as a complete whole, as a, knowing that the, the whole goes beyond the text, the whole goes into me and and more than just in the name, into the history of philosophy, um, into the text he's responding to. But I'm more interested in, in not going those other directions, but from my horizon that I have now, I want to know what is the unified message of this text, um, supported by the text. Um, in a coherent uh, way. And it's an interesting question because I think in a lot of ways this text is going to try to not let me do that. Um, but I, I think it's possible. And there's a history that brought me here and I just made a video and I don't care so much about it. Um, one of the reasons why I'm doing this is I really do want to make money on philosophy. Um, I was told before studying philosophy that philosophers would always be poor, and so far that's been pretty true. And, um, and also, another reason why I want to do this is because I can't metal detect all day. There's got to be something else I can do to try to make money. Um, when I'm not metal detecting, that I have pa passion for. Um, and this, my evolution with this book, from this book, and the history that brought me to this book, is something that I have a lot of passion about. And so this seems to be a good place to start. And I hope you'll come along with me.